Hi everyone, it's Jan, and if you have followed me for a while, you know I love Christmas projects, and probably the one I get the most excited about is my December Daily that I do. I started doing this about 10 years ago with Allie Edwards, who has just brilliantly put together this idea of journaling every day, the normal little day-to-day -day kinds of things that happen in this very special time of the year in December. And I started doing it and I love it, love it, love it. And then a few years ago, I also discovered Shamel.com who does what she calls Journal Your Christmas where she sends you a daily prompt for every day during the month of December. And if you've taken her class once, you every other year you get all of those prompts. And so I've kind of gotten to the point that I blend these together and I love, love, love just knowing that every year I have collected together all the things that are wonderful about the month of December. For the past few years, several of you have asked me if I would teach a class on how I actually prepped for being ready to do this December daily because the key is if we get it all together ahead of time, we're more likely to get the day-to-day -day kind of documentation done. And so this year in the UCAN classroom, I am doing that. I am going to invite you into the studio while I put my December daily together and invite you to get yours ready to go as well. And this year I am using the Tim Holtz folio, the large folio, and you can kind of see my just quick little um, peek at the cover. We do not have the cover totally together yet, but we, we will. But this video, I'm going to walk you through the products and supplies I'm going to be using, why I'm using them, and I will provide you a link down below in the description box to both the class, where we will actually then take all of these and put our our December daily together and then have our kit of embellishments and journaling cards to go so that we're ready to do that daily thing. So let me show you why I chose the large folio. First of all, it's just a very cool way to pull everything together. There are lots of, of real, there is lots of real estate here that we can create for all the places that you want to have for some pictures and journaling about every day. I love this little insertion piece that they have already built for us. And I think that there is a lot of places that we can put some little extras in there. And I'll show you how we can prepare for that. But the thing I'm probably most excited about is using the Tim Holtz small ring binder. And I went ahead and got the punch as well because that will just go into my daily kit. The small ring binder has a lower profile, and I'm going to put one at the top and one at the bottom of those flaps. Now let me show you the papers that I am using. I love mixing manufacturers together, and I have put into my supply list for you to look at products from three and then kind of three and a little bit of a fourth. But I'm beginning with the whole pack of the Tim Holtz Merriment collection which is basically the red and white with a little bit of sepia and black. I've also put sleigh bells by my mind's eye and I'm pulling some pieces of the 12 by 12 but I'm showing you kind of a flip through here of the 6 by 6. I love these papers. As a card maker I am totally drooling over them but I I'm using some of the 12 by 12 and some of the 6 by 6. And I found that in working on a mini album, you need both scale, um, both pieces, both sizes for a project like this. I'm also putting in a 6 by 6 pad of Simple Stories Cozy Christmas and I'm going to use a lot of their little embellishment things. It's gorgeous. And all three of these, the red tones are very similar, the cream tones are very similar. They will work well together for this kind of rustic look that I am putting together. So let me show you, this This birch piece is the cover, the papers that I've chosen for the front and the back. I always, on a project like this, I order two of every 
pattern so that I can maximize using the front and the back. And that's what I'm showing you here is there these both of these are the front and the back of them. Very dramatic um, pieces there. These are from um, sleigh bells with the my mind's eye, and then there are some, this piece. You know, I'd have check the supply list. I'm probably not remembering off the top of my head what all of these are, but I got them because I loved that that green names of the reindeer pieces that I'm I'm gonna have to gonna pair it with this reindeer piece. But I also love the rulers on the back side, so that'll be great. I also have chosen some bow bunny um kind of staple kinds of things. This is called double dot and chevron and I've chosen four different colors because they actually kind of read as a neutral. They will allow the using the sim, similar patterns and there is a little bit of text print behind the dots. That's why it's called double dot. I think they will read really well using them throughout the album to kind of pull things together but still have different color schemes. And then I have this kind of one, It just trust me on this one, it's going to be a fun thing. It is a Webster's Pages, obviously not um, totally woodsy and crafty, but I, I'm, I've got a special project for it. And I also have put four or five different colors of just plain cardstock because that'll help us. You want to have some large alphabet for titles. And then I have put a couple of different small letter collections in there. One is by um, is Sleigh Bells and one is Joyous. Both of these are by My Mind's Eye. They are really terrific. And I chose them because they had great colors, but they also have these little word stickers down at the bottom. And when we're putting our embellishment kits together, having things that we could just put a single or a little grouping of words over a photo from the day will help us on those days where we're really just running out of time to get our documentation done, having things in our kits that allow us to just quickly pull that together is awesome. I've also pulled these two um, small sticker sets from Webster's Pages that um, one is a wood grain and one is that kind of light teal that I'm going to use. I've also pulled these word stickers from um, Webster's Pages. I love those little ones. And then these are some stickers from Sleigh Bells. I've also pulled a couple of label sheets from October Afternoon. I think I always want to have a set of label stickers in there and October Afternoons, just their kind of staple labels are great for that. Go and shop your stash too. You don't have to um, get everything new here. I'm showing you some things that I have that I've gotten to put together for this year. This is I love that number sheet because it'll help us with all of those um, the day-to-day -day kinds of things. And I've also put the Simple Stories Cozy Christmas sticker sheet in. Love, love, love them. This is the um, alphabet sticker sheet. So if you're wanting to do something maybe a little simpler with your titles and that would be a good one to put in. Now I'm also suggesting that you for this that you get at least one of the ephemera packs and I'm going to kind of show you what is in each of these. This is the um, bits and pieces. I think this is from I'm going to say I think this is from Simple Stories. It has some great little little pieces with it. Love um, it. This is Simple Stories. I love just great little things that, like a label sticker, we can just put over a picture or next to our journaling really quickly on a day where we just don't have time to do a lot. I've also pulled the Tim Holtz. Christmas ephemera. Again, so much fun. I love the vintage advertisements. You can see over there at the upper right hand corner, I have pulled a few of the things from the various ephemera packs already because I know that I'm going to use them on the cover. But I love that there are great layering pieces here if we want to use them together. And then here's the sleigh bells 
one. And of course, Tim Holtz is probably my favorite, but then there were just pieces in this that I just adored. Like I love that Cardinal and the stars and the little bingo cards. And, and they're just, they're really well sized for this kind of thing. And those antlers, I don't know where I'm going to use them, but trust me, they're going to, going to show up in that little mustache. And there's some little pennants and there's some word things. I mean, just really and truly just great little pieces for us to use. And, and these kinds of ephemera packs, I think are just a great staple to have if you are working on a daily kind of thing. These are the snap um, die cuts. Love these, love these, love these. They are I think they're probably sized right for the, um, oh, what is the Project Life kinds of things. Now here are the, the kind of dimensional texture pieces. I love these wood enamel, they're not enamel dots, they're wood dots. Um, so I've, I have put a few of these kinds of things in. And again, this is some play, something that you may want to go and shop your stash. You may want to pull together some things. When you see my final kit during the class, you'll see that I've pulled all kinds of things. But I'm just kind of showing you the things that you want to have in your kit. You want some trim. I love the linen trim from Tim Holtz. I'm going to have some sequins. I've pulled a few of his ideology, Tim Holtz ideology pieces. Definitely will will be using some of those. But you know, over the years, you probably have collected a lot of little bits and pieces. And when you are putting your kit together, and I'll talk about this in the class, go and shop your stash. Find things that will work with it. But the key is going to be that we're going to pull them all together into a easy, easy, easy kit to work with. Um, so one of the things I'm going to love using is I went ahead and got these little flashcards with all of the jingle words on them. So I hope that that kind of is helping you know why I've chosen certain things for the class. Check out the You Can December Daily with the Tim Holtz Portfolio class. You can click down below. There'll be the link for that. I will also be um, teaching a class called You Can Create with Mixed Media create mixed media scrapbook pages. We're going to be doing a kind of technique driven class that will show you some great techniques that you can use when you're doing your scrapbooking um, pages if you want to kind of incorporate some of that in. And then by popular demand, I am also going to do a follow-up class to last month's Make a Scene class with a Make a Fall Scene card making class. So I want to invite you to come join me in the UCAN classroom for any of those. I appreciate you stopping by. If you have any questions about the products that I've chosen for the December Daily mini album, please send me a, leave me a comment or send me a private message. I'll be happy to help you, but go over to my website and check it out. There'll be some um, links where you can get a little bit more information and feel free to give me, a, drop me an email if you have any questions. I'll see you in the classroom. I'll be back with another video real soon. Be sure and save some time for creative play.